Hi and welcome to the next installment of the teaching editing with DaVinci Resolve, the completely free uh, software we're using, DaVinci Resolve 17. So today I want to teach you all about using B-roll and adding text. So first things we need to do is actually fire up our DaVinci Resolve. And while we're doing that, I'm just going to pop this in the stream uh, because when you're when you have your video already done, uh, you're making it perfect for YouTube, then you want to search, optimize it and make sure it gets found. I use TubeBuddy, your best friend on the road to YouTube success. This is a link that is in the comments now and it is a free trial for the pro version. So you can try all the split testing, some different thumbnails, all sorts of things you can uh, you can play with there with the SEO optimization of your videos. Uh, say it's a free 30 day trial and you can select the pro version and then you've got access to everything. So that's uh, that's our friends at TubeBuddy. Now I want to share my screen with you for DaVinci Resolve. Here we go. Let's just pull that in the screen. I shall pop myself down in the bottom. And as you can see, I have uh, I have a little video already done. I'm in the edit section that you can see there. That's highlighted. So we have the media, the cut, fusion, color. I'm highlighted on edit. Uh, and we've got the preview screen. That's our timeline view. Uh, and what I want to do is show you how to put in little B-roll. So this one was an interview I did with uh, with a, an author and so i want to share with you the little video so i'm talking about videos and then i'm adding in uh, a little bit of b-roll that you can see here so let's uh remove that so we can start from scratch so that is basically our clear timeline let me uh pull in so we want to add some b-roll so which one was the b-roll Is there somewhere? There we go. That was it. So we want to do the B roll. So what I want to do is uh, if I pop that in there. So you literally just drag that onto your timeline. You sit it above. So it's in video two. And so what happens if you play the timeline because it's sitting on top. Of the, so it's that hierarchy because it's sitting on top of the main uh the main video then this will come above it so in that hierarchy so that will then take cover but what we can see here is that is not the same size as our screen so what we need to do is highlight on that we go up to uh, inspector and now now we get a much better view so you can see we've got the we've got the behind so we've got that bottom timeline showing behind our B-roll. Uh, and so what we want to do is we want to zoom that B-roll. So we've got it highlighted in red with the highlighter pen over here, highlighted in red. And so now we can just drag across uh, the zoom and that puts it into zoom. And so that fills up the screen. So we can also make it go from left to right as well and indeed the y-axis up and down so we can get the bit that we want in in shot so i want to put a little arrow uh, to highlight these little shoppable videos so that's it so i now want to put another piece of b-roll in so i've got an arrow here and this has got a transparent that's a transparent background and so i'm going to drag that over and again as i said in the hierarchy of things let's pop that above above our our timeline so now we've got our initial clip the b-roll and then we've got this transparent arrow which as you can see is huge so we want to do reverse of what we did last time we want to reverse that zoom so we're going to shrink it and that's all we have to do just shrink that zoom down okay uh and it's really that's po that's pointing at the kitchen aid so we also want to rotate so we've got a rotation angle here as well so we can just rotate it so it's actually pointing at the shoppable videos and so now when we play I'm talking through then it clips to the b-roll with the arrow transparency and then just comes back to me 
Now that is the basic way of how we put some B-roll into our timeline. So literally you're just dragging and dropping it on top of on top of your, your initial clip and uh, that will work. Now, there's no transitions there. Transitions we will cover in a later episode. But also what I wanted to talk about was adding text. So let's grab, um, let's take all that off. We don't need that. Let's put my little ducks down. This is, this is me feeding the ducks. Okay. Um, so not a lot going on there. So I want to add some text. So let's take off the inspector, give ourselves a little bit of room. And I don't need the media pool, but I do want effects. And so let's take the media pool off. So now we can see our effects better. So we've got the toolbox here. So we've got the video transitions. And here we have titles. And in the titles, we have some uh, lower thirds that we can use. So showing up in the samples, you can see. And uh, you've got a scroll title. As we drag our cursor across, you can see what that's going to do. So that's going to scroll a title. Um, so that's a basic title and some custom title. So what we're going to do just for this one, we're just going to pop a basic text in. So we're just going to drag and drop it onto our timeline, as you can see there. Uh, maybe that's it there. And so it says basic title. So we've got it highlighted. I can remove the effects now as well so we've got more room to play with so i can make that a larger timeline or if you remember we can just press on oh, got those that's why it's not work take them off there you go pressing this button here that will just fill our timeline so we know what we're doing and we can click on the text button which is called t go back to our inspector and here we can see where we can change it so we've got title and settings so like the b-roll we can zoom position crop um but this is where we change the text so we can have basic title so we're going to call it feeding eating the ducks okay so but it doesn't have to be white we can have it any color we like we can change it to purple red white yellow feeding the ducks yeah so it's quite easy uh, oh, great. Okay, Susanna Michael, that's a very long thing you've just done there. Um, but that's okay, we'll go with it. Um, but I'll look at that afterwards. So, yeah, you can see we've got uh, feeding ducks, so we can change the color uh, quite easily. And we can also, if we go into settings now, we can either we can make it bigger, we can zoom it in, zoom it out, and we can position it so we can drop it. Well, we can either move on side to side and uh, we can centralize it again. Just these, these are setting keyframes. We'll come to those in another episode, but we've got the reset button there. So we can drag it, drag it, we can drop it down into the bottom. So then it just says feeding the ducks. So then when we play through our clip, that can just come up feeding the ducks for as long as we want. Um, we can extend it, we can shorten it. Um, no problem. All we had to do is drag that across and you can see it just drags it across the timeline. So that is how we add a title or add text overlays on our videos. Um, so that's today's nice and easy two lessons. We've added B-roll and we've added text. You can have a good play around with those. You've got all those little uh, text buttons uh, to play with. And uh, we can just pop in and look in the effects at all again. Because um, it's very popular, obviously, to have um, is to have uh, a lower third. So you've got those lower third samples there in exactly the same way. You can change. Uh, it says title. So that's line one. Scroll down, got sample, so that's the second one. You can change the font, you can change the font face, you can change the color, the sizing, as you can see there, just dragging and dropping. Um, you can track it, so that's really cool. Line spacing we can play around with as well. So all these things we can do, we can align it in different places. Uh, drop shadow on it. You can take that off or drop it on. All these things uh, that we can do. We can do a background color. Uh, again, you can outline the width. 
and the height. So there we go. There you can see that background color. So if you've got that color there, we might want to move that around, but we can center it. No problem. We can make it bigger. So you've got full control. And this is the thing. And you can play around with the opacity as well. So you can make it much, much darker or much, much lighter. You see, that is amazing control. And this is this is totally, totally free software to use, but you've got so much control, so much you can do with it. Um, so please do uh, try and try it out. And it's, it's free software. So please do have a go and let us know how you get on, which is fantastic. Um, OK, now we'll take that off for a moment um, and share with you some other elements. Now, we are live streaming this, not just on Facebook and YouTube, but also on the Nick Wood Online website. And we're doing that with uh, VI Loud. Uh, it's an amazing piece of uh, an amazing piece of kit, which allows us to do that on directly onto our website. We just embed it uh, using the embed code HTML and you're good to go. And that will play every time, every time we, uh, we direct it to the website, it just cuts in from the previous videos on there and plays live, which is a super cool thing to do. And uh, and again, if you want to learn more about uh, online marketing, digital marketing, creating a creating a, a preparing and launching um, an online business that you've always dreamed of, then there's a free webinar with my very good friend and mentor, Stuart Ross, um, where he talks all about that and can run you through it. Absolutely brilliant. OK. Until the next time, have an amazing day. Be safe, whatever you're doing. And I will see you tomorrow with another quick editorial teach for DaVinci Resolve 17.